nervous. It's going to be a little anticlimactic because um, <laughs> we acted with, with just kind of random pieces of cloth and stuff yeah, rather than, cool. uh, than a pelican. Oh. Um, so. So what is this? This is the ROV. The open ROV. Yeah. And this oh. is a, kind of a prototype, but um, it's very similar to uh, what we're hoping to make as a kit and just get to people all around the world. In fact, we could even uh, turn it on if you're interested. Yes, absolutely. All right, yeah, well, I'll just have to add one there. battery. Well, as you can see, you there's a vertical thruster here, which yeah. allows it to move up and down. Yeah. And there's two uh, horizontal thrusters, which allow it to move forward and backward yep. and, and rotate. Yep. And uh, let's see, I just have to... It just takes normal C batteries, but you can also get rechargeable batteries, so okay. you can constantly trickle charge it. Yeah, yeah. Um, How many do you need in one pack? Eight. Eight of them. Wow, um, that's very powerful. Yep. And then, let's see. Make sure that's centered. So, um, okay, so if uh, everything's working, I should be able to make these thrusters go. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, they, they stop at slightly different times. Is that a purpose? Yeah, uh, the beeps actually, it's, um, it's just the behavior of the speed controllers we're using and how they're energizing the, the coils. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a... The top one. A vertical thruster. Yeah. And then, of course, um, if you're going to be going to deep water or yeah. inside of caves, naturally you need lights. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we have those. There's also one more thing that's um, not moving in this. There's a servo that allows this entire inner platform to move up and down. Yep. So if you mounted a payload like a robot arm or a metal detector down here, you mm -hmm. can inspect that. Or if you had a ship hull that you were looking at, or if you're in a cave, you could look up. And then the whole thing um, is in this kind of uh, waterproof case. Wow. All the wires go back there. That's so awesome. what's the connect connected here? So right now it's actually, uh, this is kind of a temporary thing we've hooked up just to play with the ROV. Yep. But um, what we're working on now is um, getting a small embedded system that runs Linux inside. Uh -huh. And um, doing that, we could do uh, uh, computer vision, like uh, OpenCV uh, or something. Recognition. Oh, cool. And imagine now if, if we could send this down and, and, you know, click our mouse on like a little crawdad running around and follow it with the ROV. Mm -hmm. or, um, ah, or you, so the, the machine will make the decision of following the animal. Yeah, or, or, you know, it could still be very human in the loop. We could also just have, a, you know, a, a compass that keeps it heading the right direction or depth control. Uh, we've also been um, looking at getting, like, an Android phone on board, which has all these things built in, and imagine the possibilities yeah, yeah. there. Yes. Um, in fact, uh, I went to... Uh, That's an Android phone? Yeah, so there we go. I've got one, too. It actually fits. This whole thing slides out. In okay. Fact, since we're uh, in the doing demo this, mode. I might as well take it off. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you could actually remove the camera. It's not plugged into anything right now anyway. Oh wow, just slide it in. And then something like an Android phone could be fit inside. Or also, if you want to get really nice video quality, ah, a the GoPro. GoPro can be mounted here. Yes. And it's wide angle. Yes. Um, you can also mount the GoPro right on that. Yeah, we also, this, um, this hole, it mounts perfectly onto this. So that would be outside the casing. Yeah, yeah. yeah but okay. of course the GoPro is waterproof. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, the idea here is that it's, it's a platform that supports all sorts of different cool things you want to do. Yeah, yeah. If we enable people with the hardware, then we can kind of crowdsource exploration. Mm -hmm. People who are developers can come up with their own cool ideas of how to make it better. That's perfect. So, uh, how many servers do you have? So, th this is the receiver? Yeah. So, this is a little bit messy right now. Um, and also, this is an experimental one where we were using Ethernet. Ethernet. That wouldn't normally be the case. Would it be um, a wireless the, the program? No. It's normally tethered, but the tether looks like this. Um, okay. It's just two wires, and we can yeah. still get Ethernet through it using yeah, sure. um, using these uh, devices I found, which um, allow you to talk 10 base T Ethernet through two wires. We just screw these terminals on, and now we can um, send broadband video through and control is, data. Is there a bandwidth limitation with this? Yeah, 10 megabits. That's that's the which is plenty for what we're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not it's not a hundred, you know. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah, you know, if we get to the problem where the kind of things people are doing with these require a hundred megabit good. connections, it's then we're, it's a good problem. <laughs> <to have. laughs> and though these are the minis, they're very small. Yeah, yeah. And so you can see, I don't have it mounted here, but normally the servo gets mounted here, and there's a little arm. Okay. And the arm would engage with a kind of plus shaped pattern oh, that's here, which allows the whole thing to rotate up and down. Pretty Sweet. That's um, I also have a cool thing which it takes me a little bit of time to set up, but if you're interested later on. Um, this is a shield you made yourself, or that's a yo yo? Yeah, it's a yo yo board. Yo -yo and, board yeah. um, so I can plug this in instead of the receiver and have my Android phone on board. Um, I just went to MIT uh, last week and yeah. we developed this thing, just a little fun game. 
uh, you have the Android on the ROV, mm -hmm. you can text that telephone number a set of instructions. Yep. It will parse the text and then have the ROV dive and carry out whatever mission you text That's to it. That's very nice. So, so this, uh, this one, you, what's the port uh, communicating currently? So as long as I can get servo output, I can yeah. control the ROV. The, the electric speed controllers, which are kind of hidden under these wires, uh -huh. um, take servo input and output the um, control to the brushless motors. Okay. And these are the same motors that you normally see yeah. in um, like an airplane, but we've just added um, smaller propellers. So oh, it's just, wow. Yeah, constant cool. magnets. There's no mechanical pass through. All we do is we turn these coils on and off in a way that lets us spin. And that way it's really robust. No matter what yeah, depth yeah, yeah. we go to, there's nothing that will fail. That's very um, nice. As long as we can make the whole system water. What's the top one? Oh, so the whole ROV is, is designed to be neutrally buoyant. It doesn't float or sink in water, it just stays where you put it. Yeah. And so this vertical thruster allows us to, <clears throat> to change our depth. Do you, do you have some, uh, like, um, what at the back of the phone to correct the... Oh, yeah, um, it's, that's the reason um, these...